There's always something refreshing about new beginnings. The start of a new year is no different. As we open the covers of the first episode of Jamaica Magazine for 2014, the JIS family extends its wishes for peace and prosperity for the year ahead to you and yours. In today's program, as the year begins, our country's leaders share their hopes for Jamaica. Don't go anywhere. The first New Year's message comes up after this short break. Happy New Year. I needed help to expand my business, but the banks only wanted to be up in my business. The high interest rates were killing my business. They never really business with my business. At the Exim Bank, we have your business needs covered. Our application process is easy, and we provide loans at competitive rates for the productive sector, from renewable energy projects and working capital to plant upgrades or expansion and export financing. Come in and talk to us today. The Exim Bank, on the road to success, you are going to want us in your business. As we stand at the dawn of 2014, we must take time to reflect on the experiences of the past year and look ahead to the 365 days of an unknown future. Today, many are making resolutions as we seek the best strategy for securing a 2014 which is happier, healthier, and more productive than 2013. Others are regretting the mistakes of the past which have so negatively affected their future. In whatever situation we might find ourselves, let us embrace the start of this new year with hope and determination to work towards our individual and the national goals. British poet Edith Lovejoy Pierce, on the threshold of a new year, wrote, and I quote, we will open the book. Its pages are blank. We're going to put words on them ourselves. The book is called Opportunity, and its first chapter is New Year's Day, end of quote. Indeed, there are opportunities which we can find every day in this country. Opportunities to do our part to build peace and security. Opportunities to help restore the values of honesty, forgiveness, good neighborliness, respect for self and for each other. Opportunities to protect our children and help those who are in need. There are also opportunities for personal achievement in the past year, I was greatly encouraged by the many Jamaicans who have struggled through hard times, suffering hunger and deprivation, but they dared to dream and studied and worked to achieve their dreams. Like our champion farmers and entrepreneurs, Tessan Chin, of whom we are so proud, or entertainers and star athletes, or scientists and information and technology specialists, they know that success does not come overnight. They know and believe that we can work to turn our challenges and our difficulties into opportunities for success at the individual, national, and global levels. As we face this new year, I hope that we shall commit to the better attitude and approach that will put Jamaica on the path to a brighter future. I encourage each of us in our small corner to seize every opportunity to improve our lives so we can build stronger, healthier families and safer, more caring communities for a united and productive nation. Lady Allen and I wish for all Jamaicans at home and abroad a very happy and prosperous New Year and pray that indeed our eternal Father will bless Jamaica, land we love, and grant us true wisdom in the year ahead.
May the peace of God be with you during this season and best wishes for a Happy New Year from all of us at JIS. Happy New Year! Practicing an active and healthy lifestyle is good advice at any time of year. If you're intending to jumpstart that habit, then your next feature is definitely for you. Watch this. It is true that many of us know that exercise is good for us, but we avoid it. Why? Because we are afraid that exercise has to be vigorous before it can be effective. But physical trainers say this is not true. Every little bit counts. It all adds up to burning more calories. We may not be ready for a structured program like going to the gym, but we can start small. The first thing that exercises help us to do is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And the first thing that we want when we exercise is to live long. And so the longevity of life is, is in fact guaranteed for persons who live healthy lifestyle by form of exercise. Medical experts say if we are not engaging in enough physical activities, we are at major risk for developing coronary artery disease. It can also contribute to other risk factors like obesity, high blood pressure and diabetes. However, physical trainers say before we start a vigorous exercise program, there are a few things we must do. You need to consult your physician first, get an okay from them, and then you proceed with your exercise. And we would advise you not to start vigorously. Start exercising at slow paces, gradually getting into the vigorous aspect of your exercise. According to physical trainers, must do any moderate to vigorous aerobic activity for a minimum of 30 minutes, at least three to four times per week. This is to reduce or eliminate some of the risks associated with a lack of physical activity as part of our regular routine. Here we go. Moderate physical activity may include brisk walking, gardening, raking leaves, sweeping the floor, pacing while you talk, when you're on the phone, pace around. This is a great way to stay moving while doing something you enjoy. Getting up each hour to stretch or walk, walk the stairs at work, and dancing can also make a difference. You don't have to go to a gym to exercise. And exercise is um, usually a routine that you consistently do, whether it's at home or at school, that you benefit from, the heart and the lungs and the other aspects of your body benefit from. Stretching and aerobics are some of the exercises that we can do at home to help us keep fit and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Aerobic exercises strengthen your heart and burn calories. Here we go. According to physical trainers, stretching exercises are essential for keeping our muscles flexible and our joints strong. You can stretch the body every day. We can all do exercise. I would probably only limit to the persons who are paralyzed from probably waist down. But even the persons who are paralyzed from waist down, their, their arms are able to, to, to do something. So you can do something with the hands. Physical trainers say if you experience any of the following symptoms during exercise, you must stop and rest. Dizziness or lightheadedness, abnormal heart rhythm, pain in the chest, under the breastbone, and or down the arm, pain in the knees, feet, or ankles. After, stop and rest. If the symptoms persist, you must call your doctor. Little town of Bethlehem, how still we see.
Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has a charge for Jamaicans as we move forward in the quest for continued national development. Here now is her message for 2040. My fellow Jamaicans at home and abroad, visitors, I greet you with all the freshness, promise, and hope of this New Year's Day. A new chapter unfolds, a new scene opens, and a new note is struck. New possibilities await us. What will we make of the blank page which 2014 represents? My personal wish for you is that this year will bring you closer to the achievement of your dreams and aspirations, that this will be the year you will make the breakthrough, and that this will be the year when the Lord will enlarge your borders. My wish is that this will be your year of jubilee and that the Lord will bless you and your family. My deepest wish for us as a nation is that we can forge a unity of spirit and purpose that will amaze not just others, but ourselves. I wish we could come together in a way we have never done before, that we could mobilize all our energy and passion to build Jamaica, land we love. We owe it to ourselves and to our children. We know that when Jamaicans unite to achieve something, nothing can defeat us. We need to channel that same energy and unity into national development. We can do it. We must do it. We have to determine this year, for example, that the monster of crime must be slain. We can't sit back and watch our nation's hopes go up in gun smoke. Fellow Jamaicans, the government can't do it alone. Fighting crime takes a united effort. As a people and a culture, we have to set our face against criminality. This must be the year when we as Jamaicans say with every fiber of our being, enough is enough where crime is concerned. The government has been doing its part and will redouble its efforts in 2014 to work toward a safe and secure Jamaica. We hope to pass what has been dubbed the anti-gang legislation in the first quarter of this calendar year, as well as the important DNA legislation. Among the record 40 pieces of legislation that we passed in Parliament last year were the Evidence Special Measures Act to allow witnesses to give their testimony via audiovisual links from remote locations or via video recording, as well as the Fraudulent Special Provisions Act 2013. The JCF's operational capacity has been significantly strengthened with the acquisition of 89 new vehicles in late December. This was in addition to 39 other vehicles given earlier in the year. A number of other measures and actions were taken last year to fight crime. Be assured that the government will be doing all it can during this year to secure its citizens and visitors to this island. But we can't be successful without you. Let us together set our face against this scourge on our land. Let us resolve to remove it. Our economic challenges continue, but the facts indicate we are making progress. Economic growth returned in the third quarter of the year after six consecutive quarters of decline, beginning in the January-March 2012 quarter. 
we have successfully passed two quarterly reviews or tests of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. Cynics said we could barely pass one. But not only have we passed two, but the private sector co-chair of the Economic Program Oversight Committee has expressed optimism about Jamaica's economic performance and prospects for this year. He has also publicly indicated his confidence in the sincerity of the government's actions to reform the economy and foster growth. Jamaica's meeting certain critical targets set out under our medium-term economic program has been crucial in releasing significant funds from the European Union and the World Bank. I must pause at this point to pay tribute to these international organizations which have supported Jamaica's economic and social program. One of the reasons I felt impelled to accept the invitation of the EU to visit Brussels last year was to show appreciation for the enormous economic and social support the EU has given to us. I want to thank the EU for its support for a range of programs in Jamaica. I also want to thank the World Bank, the USAID, the Inter-American Development Bank, and the IMF for their support. I am glad that this government has re-established the international credibility of Jamaica and that international financial institutions know that when we commit to a program, we are not going to abandon it for political expediency. Fellow Jamaicans, I know that our economic program, with its necessary emphasis on fiscal prudence, has, in some instances, been hard on you. I feel your pain. I go to the supermarket. I know what is happening to prices. But we have maintained a high level of social spending. We have continued to make critical investments in housing, health, education, and social services, including the PATH program. Last year, there was an overall increase of 15% to PATH beneficiaries, with the elderly beneficiaries receiving a 67% increase. Last year also, some 1,000 tertiary level students from PATH across the island benefited from scholarships valued at $100 million to complete their studies. So we're not forgetting those who are in need. Just last month, the Minister of Labor and Social Security announced a 75 million short-term poverty intervention project to ease the burden on the most vulnerable. We also last month raised the national minimum wage as well as the minimum wage for security guards. But we have to stay the course of economic adjustment. We have no alternative. The road might be rocky and the terrain rough, but with God as our guide, we will make it through. I reaffirm the words of national hero Marcus Mazaya Garvey, who said, let me say to you that a greater future is in store for us. We have no cause to lose hope, to become faint-hearted. We must realize that upon ourselves depend our destinies, our future. We must carve that future that destiny. My fellow Jamaicans, the new year will have its challenges, but also its opportunities. Let us grasp those opportunities with both hands. Better yet, let us create our own opportunities. Let us face this new year with courage, determination, and resilience. We are a strong 
people, a proud people with a glorious heritage. We are Nani's people. We are the people of Sam Sharp, Paul Bogle, George William Gordon, the people of Marcus Mosiah Garvey. How can we turn our backs on the struggle of our founding fathers, Norman Washington Manley and Sir Alexander Bustamante? Our forebears did not leave us such a rich legacy for us to squander. We must demonstrate day by day the metal we are made of. We have many rivers to cross, but we can make it if we really try. Let us work together. Let us unite as one Jamaican family, shaping the future together. I recently came upon some reassuring words which I would like to dedicate to each and every one of you as we embrace this new year. May light always surround you, hope kindle and rebound you. May your hearts turn to healing, your heart embrace feeling. May laughter infect you, your passion resurrect you. May goodness inspire your deepest desires. Through all that you reach for, may your arms never tire. Always remember who we are as a people, and more importantly, whose we are. We are God's mighty army, and we can and shall defeat all the giants as we build our promised land. Happy New Year to all of you. May God bless you and your family, and may God continue to bless Jamaica, land we love. Thank you. We are a proud people with tremendous God-given talents and potential. Our alluring accomplishments are second to none in sports, music, food, and the leaders we provide to the world, all for which we can be proud. Part of the vision for our country's development is that no one should fall into or remain in poverty for lack of adequate support. As a proud nation, we must support our own. We must produce, not only to meet our needs, but to sell the world what it demands. We can do this by supporting local talent and creativity here at home and securing more opportunities for our people to create wealth. If we buy authentic, world-class Jamaican products, we'll help keep our industries alive and make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. Nutritious food, succulent dishes, superior workmanship, and excellent service. Jamaica is on the go. Let's grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Let's harness the indomitable spirit of our most valued resource, our people. Let's support our local businesses. After all, buying Jamaica means building Jamaica. Nugget. Original. Watch now as leader of the opposition, Andrew Holness, addresses the nation, sharing his message of prosperity as we begin a brand new year. Fellow Jamaicans, I join you in welcoming the new year 2014 with great expectations. As we herald in the new year and pause to reflect on the year past, let us give God thanks. In the past year, we have had proud moments in sports, entertainment, and culture. We must continue to build on these areas of strength and capitalize on the international brand value of Jamaica 
as a land of talent. Last year, we continued to face the disturbing situation of increases in major crimes, some of which were particularly gruesome and targeted pregnant women, children, and the elderly. There is a feeling of hopelessness, helplessness, and frustration with the high crime rate. Our business leaders have expressed serious concerns as this seemingly out of control monster threatens investor confidence in Jamaica and consequently investments, employment, and ultimately the improvement in the standard of living of our people. As one priority for the new year, therefore, we must urge the government to address this major impediment which has many Jamaicans cowering in fear. Crime must be treated as an epidemic on our social and economic systems. Clearly, there is a failure of leadership, a marked absence of meaningful strategic approaches, and no demonstrable will to mobilize adequate resources for our national security. In my message last year, I urged that we make a positive resolution to address at least four other areas of concern. These areas remain just as relevant and urgent as they were last year. First, we must increase our productivity and efficiency. We pledged as we accepted the objectives of Vision 2030 that we would create a new productivity culture. We are a long way from achieving this. Second, the high cost of energy continues to be a major concern. Government must fast track the build out of the new power facilities. Corruption continues to destabilize our society. Jamaica is ranked among the bottom half of countries on the World Corruption Index, and undoubtedly will remain there until the government stops paying lip service to the anti-corruption agenda. Let us pledge to correct this for the new year. We must pay meaningful attention to education reform. I have always maintained that education transformation is the key to empowering Jamaicans and improving the human resource input into economic, social, and political development. Let us make this a reality. Let us make 2014 a year of action. The opposition will continue to protect the interests and advance the hopes and aspirations of the Jamaican people. May God bless all Jamaicans. Let us strive to make our country a better place to live, work, raise our families, and do business. Do have a happy, blessed, and productive 2014. Today's half hour package ends now, but you may get more information by logging on to our website, jis.gov.jm, or by visiting our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash watchjis. Then send us your feedback via email or through our Twitter handle at JIS News. Tune in to our same time for another in the series. Until then, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Once again, Happy New Year and do take care. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.